Hello and welcome to episode 15 of UK NBA. I'm Ryan Hillback. And I'm Pete. Pete Wells. Right, yeah, just <laughs> yeah. remember your name then. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what I is was it quite impressed with you knowing it's episode 15. I'm starting to lose count. I just, really? The episodes kind of name them now sometimes. So yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I called it transfer deadline. You know, but deadline I, always, I always like to keep a track of how many we've done. Yeah. Because, um, one to 15. Oh, it's gone quick, hasn't it? Yes. Time flies when you're having fun. I when we get to, we're going to have to have a bit of a party when we get to 50 or 100. We will, yes. Should yeah. Be near the end of this season. Players yeah. Coming up. They are coming up. Not in indeed. There. And uh, yeah, last uh, episode, 14, we only had one video. Uh, we've got a few more today. Um, we've got the news, which is coming up in this part, then key matchups. Are we doing Would You Rather today or are we going to no, miss that yeah, one off? Today, yeah. We're going to miss a good feature coming up. We're going to miss that one off because we've, we've had to dedicate the time to this feature that we've got coming up, which is rating teams' chances of making the playoffs. So we're looking from 7 to 12, teams including the likes of the Heat, the Nets, the Pacers, the Hornets, the Celtics and the Pistons. We'll be all over that on UK NBA. That's exactly yeah. what... We're going to be mainly focusing on today. But we'll start with the news. And, um, yeah, the news is concerning Derek Rose, uh, the first part of the news anyway. Mm. He's expected to return within six weeks after successful surgery on a torn meniscus. Yep. Um, obviously, again, um, obviously there was a lot of talk about is Derek Rose's season over when uh, he mm. torn the meniscus and he's out right knee for the second time in his career. Um, that was the last time he was out during the playoff. So this time it's come a bit earlier in the season. And the surgery has been very successful and will only miss six weeks. So we'll be back in time for the playoffs. Which is exactly what the, the one of the best point guards in yeah, NBA. Exactly. So, um, so he's a difference maker. But they've got, they've got a decent backup in Brooks, is it? Yeah, yeah, Brooks has done really well. I've been really impressed with him. Yeah. And I'm um, sure he can help lead the team um, to the playoffs in uh, Derrick Rose. And Jimmy Butler, who got that coming up, their mm. absence. Yeah. Uh, another manager, <clears throat> another coach cap. A casualty. I keep saying mm. managers because it's yeah, uh, with football ready, over yeah. here. Um, yeah, it's another casualty. It just seems to be uh, dropping like flies at the minute. And it's uh, Brian Shaw who has been fired as the coach of the Denver Nuggets. And uh, do you know what? I've just it's, I've, it's just came to me. And you gave him the kiss of death, if you remember. Did I? You probably can't remember. On an episode of Question Time mm. uh, a couple of weeks ago, I asked you who the coach of the Denver Nuggets was. And you said Brian Shaw, and and uh, was the right answer. And you said, but he'll probably change in a couple of weeks. With I all, did with all, say that. You yeah. said it'll change in a couple of weeks with all the firings of coaches. Yeah. So, Mr. Brian Shaw, I, I do apologise. We, we apologise for that. Well, not we. Don't ever, don't involve me. In it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> but you, um, you know, you're you're the reason why Brian Shaw was a bit fired. <laughs> Well, I'm sure he'll get another job somewhere else. Fantastic coach, obviously couldn't do much with the Nuggets. Mm. You know, fairness, I don't think anyone can. And uh, there's a bit of uh, a couple of pieces of uh, quite sad news. Um, that's the passing of Earl Lloyd, who was the first black, black NBA player. He passed away at the grand old age of 86 late last week. Yeah. Uh, what a fabulous player. Fantastic. What a fantastic man as well. Yeah, ambassador for basketball. Um, obviously, every he's not really recognised for no, his not. achievements uh, in the likes of Bill Russell, uh, Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar, etc., but he was a and first. Even just so it's like LeBron James exactly, now. Exactly, you know they're they're real um, African American kind of icons mm -hmm. uh, in the sport, and obviously so was Earl Lloyd being the first Black NBA mm -hmm. player, which is uh, led paving to so, the paving the way paving for the, way the likes of the so, greats. So many great players. The Michael reason you Jordan, can see the likes of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James yes. now is because of. Yeah, we all really started with uh, with Lloyd, and um, another death, unfortunately, mm -hmm. in the world of basketball. Um, was that uh, Anthony Mason, who sadly passed away at just the age of 48, yeah. which is um, Had a great a shame, isn't NBA it? career, sadly died of a heart attack, um, which he suffered earlier this month. Had a fantastic NBA career, um, was a real hard-working player from what I've read about him. Uh, 13 years in the NBA with, I think, about five or six mm. different teams, uh, namely the New York Knicks, who did a great um, little tribute to him at the Madison Square Garden Stadium. last week. Yep, and um, one's retired, um, mm. Richard Hamilton, who won an NBA championship with the Detroit Pistons, the big underdogs they were at the time, beat the Lakers. They did. Uh, one of the old school, um, grind it out players, fantastic shooter, uh, really um, again, a great ambassador for players like the likes of Anthony Mason that weren't blessed with the great talents. 
uh, of the likes of Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Colby Bryant, LeBron James, but certainly hard work, determination, and uh, a lot of heart on the basketball court was what led Richard Hamilton to an NBA championship. Yeah, and you alluded it to it at the start of this um, episode with regards yeah. to Jimmy Butler, and uh, he will be out for three to six weeks with an ulnar ligament sprain in left elbow. Yeah, suffered that. Um, I thought the ulnar was in the wrist. Well, it must be another bone in or ligament in there. That's right. what it says on the. Uh, you you just you just talk about that while I yes, Google if um, the ulnar's in the wrist or not. So the bone probably is in the bone is, but the. Uh, a ligament so with that uh, same name is uh, in the um, elbow. But anyway, he suffered that against the Clippers. You saw him uh, knock his elbow on the way to the basket, obviously. I think he got an hand one on that or got to the free throw line anyway or something. And I um, uh, saw him come out the game, didn't return. And um, yeah, that's um, another blow. Obviously, they've got Derek Rose out and now Jimmy Butler. So... It's going to be a lot of work needed to be done in Chicago to secure a uh, top four position come uh, playoff time. Have you found the owner? Yeah, it, it, um, it looks like it's in the thumb, not the mm. elbow. Yeah, That's but it's U N U L N A N A R. The ulnar yeah. ligament, uh, yeah. elbow joint. Yeah. Um, Okay, it's got thumb as well, so it's a bit of a... Yeah, it was definitely in the elbow, in a way it was an elbow. Yeah, it's a bit of a... Yeah, yeah. okay. Yep, so um, that wraps up the, the news That's section. The news, yeah. That's all we've got today yeah. for you. Um, of course, share your news with us, not like your personal news. Don't want to know about anything. NBA, uh, news. NBA news. That's what we want to yeah. know about. Uh, yeah, next episode Next episode is not... <laughs> next part. <laughs> We're not going anywhere yet. Key matchups. Key matchups.